Hello friends, welcome to PIAC Minnesota Paranormal. And yesterday we did a video clip about uh, well, how an investigation unfolds for us from start to finish. The very basics of it, of course. But I wanted to uh, share with you something that was mentioned in that video, which was the equipment that we use. Now, we have our supernatural equipment, we have our tech equipment, we do have a lot of spirit boxes and ghost meters and all those kinds of EMF meters and bells and whistles. We have very uh, spendy programs that we have on our phone that are very sophisticated. And we also have some physical EMF meters and a spirit box and so on. Uh, but they're pretty basic as far as, you know, any other investigation team would use. Now, we consider our our equipment to be like a team member because the equipment does have an energy about it, an aura about it. It speaks to you. Certain cameras will work with certain people and not others. Some people are better with the EMF meters or in Douglas's case, he's a spirit box expert. And we really appreciate that about him. So we do bring a lot of cameras and we have a variety. I brought just a quick variety to show you. The first one is we have this really nice, um, it's a DVC brand camera here. And uh, it comes with this cool little handle so you can do all kinds of crazy nonsense with it. Turn it upside down. And it has an independent microphone and you have to turn the microphone on and set the sensitivity of the microphone. It does rotate so you can move it to different areas and basically you just open it to turn it on and you uh, snap a picture or click the red button for record. It has night vision mode and this is really handy for uh, if we're outside or we have an evening investigation if we're doing our, our cemetery runs that I like to call them and we have three of these. Uh, we have, uh, the, the oldest is three years old, then two years old, and then this one, which we just got this year, because the equipment is always evolving and updating, and so I wanted to be sure that we had everything that we needed. Uh, we also have a very cool little Fuji Polaroid film camera. This takes the cartridges, and when you take the picture, it pops the film out, and... This a particular camera comes in this goofy case, which I don't understand because the case really doesn't fit the camera. For God's sake. Anyway, so you would snap it and then the film would pop out here and you'd let it develop. Now, Polaroid film is really, really cool. It's very rare now, of course, because we live in an age of digital photography but it does um, produce some fantastic images and there's just something about that that vintage Polaroid feel that's really really freaking cool so yeah I like it we also have one of these bad boys this is an internal camera it has a very very long rope like uh, wire lens on it the end of the rope has a lens on it, and then we have um, the camera here. So you turn it on, and then it will, the camera will get hooked into here, and then you can run that wire all over the place. And it's really handy to get into things like, oh, crawl spaces, attics, in the backs of closets, and different areas where people. Uh, are experiencing paranormal activity, but we've got to debunk. We have to be sure, is it, you know, rats or mice? Uh, did a squirrel get in or whatever? So we can see a lot of the internal bones of a house with this particular camera. And this thing is really badass. And I recommend it to any paranormal investigation team out there. Be sure that you have one. And I, I'll show you something here. So it comes with this. As you can see, I'm not a film producer. I'm just an investigator. So this is the lens, and then this will show you all kinds of crazy stuff. You pop this sucker in, screw it on. 
And then you can do all kinds of stuff like, ah, uh, it's pretty fun. Anyway, we love it. My personal favorite is my Canon Rebel T6. This is a really expensive, really complicated camera to use, but this camera, it fits in my hand like a glove. We understand each other. This camera is really, really uh, exceptional at capturing uh, spirit phenomenon. And uh, we have, uh, Douglas has his own cameras and Nate has what I call my haunted camera. It's a little, little pink thing I got from the early 2000s. And it really, uh, I have just some extraordinary spirit photography from that camera. So I gave it to him, I passed it on and he does get some fantastic photography from that. So we, uh, along with the, the typical EMF meters and spirit boxes and other uh, bells and whistles and gadgets that people use, teams use for, uh, as, you know, ghost busting and paranormal investigations, we also have these extras here. And of course we have phones that have very sophisticated camera systems. That was one of the requirements of the phones that we purchase is that they have a uh, ridiculous amounts of storage and they have superior cameras. So we also have really, really good cameras on our cell phones. And it's always good to have a multitude of cameras and technology and bring a ton of batteries because paranormal entities, they are notorious for messing with your tech equipment. So you always want to have as many cameras as you need. So if one goes down, you can grab the next one and be sure you have plenty of batteries. And this particular camera here and this one here, they come with spare batteries. So I have three or four spare batteries for each. If one goes down, we've got more to come. And then of course you always keep a stock of this. You can get this camera very cheaply at Walmart and they have the film there as well. It's a Fuji uh, Instamax, but there's a couple of different versions for them. And this we got online. So you can find this sucker online. I think it's about $70 or so. Uh, but they're pretty, these cameras are pretty, uh, pretty common. So you should be able to find them anywhere. And this I also got off of Amazon. Uh, all three of the cameras that we have in this style and brand came from Amazon. And you pay a little more for the extra accessories, but it's totally worth it. One of the other things that I bring with me, besides all of our cameras and our tech equipment, is my bag of paranormal goodies. And in case you're wondering about this badass bag and the other badass bags that I have, this is uh, Amazon. These are heirloom quality bags, purses, wallets, backpacks, and they are absolutely amazing. UTO, just type UTO into Amazon. And what we have in here is all of our paranormal equipment. <sighs> Sorry. I got 20 things going on. So I bring uh, religious uh, artifacts because we always respect and acknowledge the religious background of the people that we go to in their homes to investigate. So I have like a crucifix here. Uh, I have a private journal. This is my book of shadows because I keep a record of things. Uh, this is a shawl. This shawl, it comes from Jerusalem and it has the Lord's Prayer right on it. So I have that too. And we always keep an abundance of power wash holy water. Power wash holy water is holy water from uh, the Pope that's been blessed by the Pope that I order in bulk online. And I add uh, sacred salt from Jerusalem and sacred sand from Jer Jerusalem and salt and oil blessed by the Pope as well. So we blend all of these together and we put it in a dark place and we make up these little bottles and we have little spray bottles too. And we give a spray bottle to all of our clients. And uh, we have red strings for protection. We have a uh, prayer, uh, 
prayer cards, prayer books, uh, Christian primarily, but we do have uh, Jewish uh, items and some pagan items as well. We have some uh, nice charms in here, and we scatter those charms around because those charms help to protect the individuals in the house. And our team, uh, as I had said previously, our team is five humans. I got sacred salt here. And we have lens cloths and a chakra card in case anybody had any questions. We have divining rods. Oh, and a flashlight, because you never know. I've got my pendulums in here. This is all of our incense, our smudges, Anything to do with fire goes in here. And basically, this is the stuff that we bring now. Uh, as I had mentioned, we our team is of five humans, but we also have a friendly demon and a an angel that we call upon to come with us on our investigations as well. And we also call on the archangels. So our equipment is like a team member for us. And there are many moving parts to an investigative team. And we'll, we'll break that down a little bit in our next video. But until next time, may you be filled with the light and love of the universe. And always do good.